Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hart. For those of you that are new, I'm going to be breaking down this two game NBA playoff slate here on DraftKings, going through some early look core plays as well as my game by game breakdown as who we should target, who we shouldn't, all that good stuff in this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Do appreciate all the support. If we could get 50 likes again on this video, that'd be huge. Do truly thank you guys for all the support. Check out my price picks video, which will be out after this. Uh, we went another 2 0 sweep on the price pick plays last night. Yeah, let's get into this breakdown. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at HeartDFS. Uh, as you can see here, recapping the plays, Joel Embiid hit the over. Same thing with Kevin Durant, so another 2-0 sweep there. 10-0 run, been fantastic over there in price picks the past few days. Um, and yeah, a quick recap of my lineup. Disappointing night. Uh, campaign was got awful once again. Tyrese Maxey was okay. CJ Warren was chalk. You know, I, I don't feel great about the, the value. The past few days has been terrible. And I don't know why I keep going, paying down for the value. It, it's just not working out. More balanced build has been working out. So, yeah, TJ Warren was trash. Brent Williams played like five minutes. Robert Williams played like 10 minutes. He was a great low owned contrarian play and just didn't play at all. Jamal Murray was great. Kevin Durant, great. Joan Bibid, great. So, the four core plays for me yesterday were Jamal Murray, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, and Campaign. And obviously, they three out of four were great. And then Campaign was trash once again and then yeah it was just the low on value plays just did not work uh the winning lineup yesterday was 324 it was harden kcp tj warren tatum landell smart porter jr and booker so getting on to today's two game slate here uh once again i think we have to have the mindset that the value today has been or the value the past few days has been absolute garbage and has not worked out so it, it definitely makes, you know, paying up for at least one or two stars uh, kind of hard, but we'll we'll get there and we'll make it work. Uh, starting off with this, this uh, Nick versus uh, Heap game here. For the Knicks side, we have Brunson and Randall at the top, 8,500 and 8,000. We know with both of them, they are pretty much the whole team in terms of the offense there. Um, and the big news right now for the Knicks side is that there's no quickly. Right now he is doubtful uh, for this game tonight. If he doesn't play, it's just going to be some more minutes for Grimes. Probably a, a few extra for Brunson. Maybe, uh, you know, he's been seeing about 39 to 38. There have been blowouts uh, that last game. So maybe he sees closer to like 41, 42 uh, with quickly being out. He'll probably sprinkle some to uh, to Grimes, as I mentioned. He'll probably get a little bit more, um, maybe higher 20s. And then they'll probably sprinkle some to McBride down here. We've seen him play a little bit like in that uh, Cleveland series. He came in and played like four to five minutes. So maybe, uh, you know, he gets the rest. Maybe they throw in D Rose for a few minutes. Who knows? But I don't expect too, too much craziness to happen with quickly being out. You know, he wasn't seeing like a ton of minutes. Uh, saw 20 that game, you know, nine the previous game, 27. So his minutes have kind of been all over the place. A little inconsistent. But right now, the spread for this game is four and a half favored to the Heat. 2-8 game total in the second game right here, Golden State versus the Lakers is a three-point spread and 227 and a half game total. So you can see, once again, the Lakers Warriors game is a lot better in terms of game game environment. So you probably want to get in a few more pieces from there, but that's what a lot of people will be thinking, and it'll most likely be where it's like you can get some solid pieces from this first game that are coming at a low owned price tag. So uh starting off here, Brunson Randall, as I mentioned. The whole offense, you know, Brunson should see closer to I'd say now 42 with no quickly or him being doubtful. Randall, I would say about the same thing, about 40 minutes. You know, he was pretty chalky last game. Uh, I played him. Unfortunately, he went 4-15, but he still put up 30 fantasy points. So it's like we know he saw when it comes to rebounding assists, maybe getting some blocks and steals. But it just comes down to can he hit a shot. Last game, he couldn't. But I, I like the upside there at 8,000 uh, with him playing 40 minutes. Same thing with Brunson. They both look really, really good plays. RJ Barrett is more of that contrarian mid-range option. Uh, it's, he's just a dart throw because either he goes out there and he plays super well uh, plays close to like 40 minutes or he goes out there and does what he did last game. Obviously it was a blowout. So he probably lost, you know, maybe seven minutes, but still on pace to only play like 32 minutes was not playing well. And that it's kind of what you get from RJ Barrett. He's very up and down. I think he's a, an okay play. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to play him unless you want to be very contrarian. Um, Josh Hart, more of an okay play. I mean, he's playing a ton of minutes. Don't get me wrong. I love the minutes, but he's just been way, 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 way more productive than, what people are expecting uh, a double double in two straight games, almost three straight games. I don't know if this can continue. If you think it does, I think he's a solid play. You know, the minutes have been great. He should see close to 40 minutes uh, guarding Jimmy. It's it just, do you think he keeps up this production, this double, double, product, double, double production? I don't think so, but I think he's still a decent play there at 6,300. Mitchell Robinson, a solid GPP play. 
it's one of those things like if he gets in foul trouble, obviously he's going to have this type of game where he plays 14 minutes, does nothing. But if he stays out of foul trouble, we know he can go for this 48 fancy points. Uh, could see close to mid 30s minutes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think he's a solid GPP play there if he just stays out of foul trouble. Quickly, as I mentioned, is doubtful. Uh, mentioned who the minutes will go to a guy like Quentin Grimes, who's an okay player, should see mid 20s minutes. It's just one of those things he's not very aggressive when he's playing alongside Brunson and Randall. But maybe he's one of those uh, outlier games where he goes off and you know goes for like this 14, 2 and 2, something like that, 30 minutes. So I don't mind him as a play there at 4,200. Uh, it does seem a little bit forced. Obi, I don't think yeah, he played a little bit last game. I, I guess he's there. Hartenstein got extended run, but he just didn't score in 26 minutes, which is a little surprising. Usually he cut, hits a couple shots, but I still think he's an okay value, 3,500. And that's about it. As I mentioned, you, I guess you could take an absolute dart throw on McBride, but I don't think he'll play more than 10 minutes, so there's no need to do that. Moving on to the Miami side here. Jimmy, once again, love Jimmy. I mean, it's playoff Jimmy. He's been the whole team. I uh, had a, a rough shooting game there, 9-21. to Game also blew out, so he didn't have to do too much there. So, once again, really, really, really like Jimmy for today's slate. Bam. Uh, once again, more of a contrarian play. It's just, you know, he hasn't been flashing the ceiling. We know he can go for 40, 45 plus. Uh, so I don't mind taking a shot on him, but it's just one of those things. You don't feel great about it. At 7,700, I'd almost rather, you know, go to Randall for 300 bucks more. It just makes more sense, right? Like, Randall will probably play for some more minutes. He's more productive. He's going to shoot more than Bam. So it's just like Bam is just more of that, you know, that contrarian pivot off of, like, at Randall. If Randall's going to be super chalky and Bam's not going to be owned at all. Kyle Lowry, I think he's a solid play. You know, he, they're going to need him. He should be playing close to 30 minutes. He will be productive when he's out there. Obviously, you can't expect him to go for four blocks and a steal like that the first game there. But, yeah, I, I think he's a very solid play at 5,300. Uh, Gabe Vincent, I think he's a solid play as well. You know, played 30 minutes. He just couldn't hit a shot, one of eight. But he's still super aggressive. He likes to shoot a ton of threes. And they kind of need his offense. So, it's like, I still think both of these guards are really, really solid plays here at 5,000. Um, Kevin Love, a decent play. It's just one of those things the minutes aren't always great. Like, maybe we can expect... I say at least we can expect at least 15 minutes. If he gets, you know, into the 20s, that's great. Obviously, he can go off that amount of time. Uh, but so, yeah, I think he's more of an okay play, more of a riskier play there, but he's definitely in play. Struis, if you think he's to shots, then I think he's a fine play, but it, he's just super, super score independent, and he's really struggled, so I, I don't want to go to him. I'd rather go to uh, Caleb Martin here if you're going to go to one of these, like, small forwards with the Struis and Martin. You know, it's 4,500 has pretty much the same upside. Obviously, the minutes are a little bit all over the place. Offense is not as good, not as good as the shooter, but he still is a, a decent scorer, can drive to the basket, can get to those defensive stats, so I don't mind him. Robinson, absolute dart throw, play there, probably plays around 15 minutes, and that's about it. Once again, just not a lot to love under the like 5,000 mark here for either side. Moving on to the Warriors and the Lakers. Steph, uh, I think he still looks great at 9,600. It's just one of those things. The past two games have been blowouts, as you can see, 27 points, and then what is that, 30 points there. So, yeah, past two games have been blowouts, so it's really been hurting the run for the starters. Um, but, yeah, Steph, I mean, he's been he's been getting stopped. I, I guess you could say 7 of 12 for only 20 points, 9 of 21, only 23. So it's like the Lakers have been doing a good job on him on defense, but we still know the upside. I mean, he's been getting close to – 40 points the past two games. I mean, he's averaged 40 or more fancy points pretty much the past three games. So I still think he's a solid play. We know the ceiling with Steph. It's just like, can he get loose from that defense and go off? So I still think he's a, a really, really solid play for today's slate. Clay, uh, he's been benefiting from uh, them trying to stop Steph. So he's been having a, the, the green light. It's just, you know, he's been really struggling. He's been pretty, pretty score independent. But we know he's a solid upside. So I think he's a decent play there. I'd prefer getting to Wiggins for a little bit cheaper. Once again, the minutes weren't great, but he still went for 36 and a half fancy points. So, yeah, I think Wiggins, once again, is a really, really solid play. In a close game, he should see about 35 minutes, if not a little bit more. Um, he's very productive when he's out there. Uh, so, yeah, I, I like him a lot once again here. Uh, Draymond Green, I once again, as I keep saying, I love these Warriors players just because they're, they're very cheap relative to their ceiling. Um, Draymond, you know. We know the ceiling with Draymond's 40, 45 plus. It's just, can he stay out of foul trouble? Obviously, the past two games have been blowouts, so that's hurt his minutes there. And he's been in foul trouble pretty much every game so far in the playoffs. That's just the risk with Draymond. So it's like either he's going to get in foul trouble or he might get thrown out. But if he doesn't, he should have a very, very, very productive game there. And at 6,000, I think that's way too cheap for him. 
uh, in this ceiling. So, yeah, like that. Kevon Looney, if he comes off the bench, I don't really like him. He'd be more of a risky play there. If he starts, I, I do like him once again. So I have to wait for that news. You know, the past two games, he hasn't started. Obviously, that, that first game there, 12 minutes, he was, uh, had I guess, I guess, sick, so he didn't start. Second game there, 16 minutes, came off the bench once again. So it's like, if he comes off the bench, very risky. Don't love it. If he starts, obviously, he's probably going to be massive chalk, but I still think he'd be very, very solid play there, 5,400. Jordan Poole, more of that uh, GPP risky play. If he gets hot, they'll extend him, as you can see in that first game. But otherwise, he's just been very, very bad. So uh, he's more of a risky dart throw. DiVincenzo, I'm assuming he'll be very, very chalky. You know, people are going to chase these box scores, not really realize that both games are blowouts, and he got a lot of extended run in the fourth quarter because of those games. He's probably going to be on pace for maybe 15 minutes at most if the games were competitive. So I think he's a dart throw. You know, he's in that value range contention, like that that group where it's like you can go down him, you can dip down to him if you want a value play there under 4,000. But once again, he's very risky. He has not been productive. Steve Kerr has been reluctant to go to him until these past two games. So we'll have to wait and see what the ownership numbers are like, but I don't love it. Uh, Jermichael Green got the start once again. He just was god-awful. So it's like hard to trust any of these values, as I keep mentioning. It's just hard to trust the value for any of these teams. Moody's been okay, but still got extended in the fourth quarter run. Gary Payton really hasn't played much this series. I guess he'd be my favorite there at 3,200 if I was going to take a risky dart throw option. Yeah, but once again, not much to love in terms of the value across the board. Laker side, LeBron 80. Um, still prefer LeBron slightly to AD, even though AD's pretty much been a little bit more safer when it comes to the floor and the ceiling. He's been uh, obviously a lot better, but yeah, I still think LeBron's great, um, but they both look like great options tonight. D'Lo, I'm assuming, is going to be very, very popular in the mid-range. He's actually been very solid this series so far, 35, 25, 34. So it's like, I don't mind, you know, landing on D'Lo. It's just one of those things. If he's going to be like 35, 40 plus percent owned and Reeves is going to be like 15 to 20, I think I'd rather take the shot on Reeves. I know he's been struggling heavily guarding uh, Clay Thompson. It's been, it's been getting him tired. Like, as you can see, he's been struggling to shoot the ball. He struggled on offense because of how much effort he's put in trying to guard Clay Thompson and keep up with him. And so that's why he's 5,600. His price is dropping. His shots are not falling. So I like him for like the, the ownership pivot from Russell. Uh, so Reeves is still a very solid play. You know, he should see the minutes. It's just one of those things. Blowout probably would have saw closer to 35. So his, his floor is about 34, 35. His ceiling is about 30, 40 minutes. So I still think he's a very solid play. I'm expecting one of these games for him to have a very solid game. Could be today. So right now I'm going to go to him. Uh, but let's wait and see if I actually actually land on them. Make sure to stay updated with me on my Patreon link down below where I'll have my updated core plays for tonight's slate. Jared Vanderbilt, uh, a value play. Looks okay. Should see anywhere from 15 to about 23 minutes. Schroeder, kind of the same thing. Anywhere from like 15 to like 23, 24 minutes, depending on how he's playing. He's in that value uh, group. Rui, as I mentioned, one of those guys where it's like if LeBron, AD, if the whole starting five is struggling with offense, one of them gets a foul trouble, especially AD. Rui will be the main backup. He'll come in and be super aggressive. He can get extended, as we saw this last game here, uh, the second game versus Golden State. 22 minutes, he was on fire. I think he had like 18 points and four rebounds going into the fourth quarter until the game blew out. So he was actually very, very solid until that blowout. Uh, where he got like a few extra points. But yeah, that's kind of the thing with Rui. If you think that's going to happen with one of the starters or the whole starters, you want to look to Rui. Otherwise, he's just a risky play there at 3,900. But I don't mind him. We know the upside with him. And Lonnie Walker did get some run there, uh, especially during the first, second, third quarter. Uh, a few minutes each, so I guess if you want to land on him, you can definitely do that. Um, but he did, did get extended in that fourth quarter, pretty much played the whole fourth uh, due to the blowout. But yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely in there. Should play around 10 to 15 minutes, I would assume. And that is it for the Lakers. As I mentioned, not a lot of value, once again, to love for this slate. So it's going to be hard to pay up for two stars. Like if I was going to put LeBron in here, 4,200 left over, so you have to fill in what your last three spots with guys who are probably under 4,000, and it's just one of those, one of those things that I mentioned. It's, it doesn't feel great, so I don't know if it's going to be viable to pay up for two stars. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe pay up for like LeBron, and then maybe pay down for um, like a Julius Randle. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that. Maybe I'll switch it to that right now, but yeah. These are the, kind of the, the four core plays I'm looking towards right now. Reeves, Wiggins, Green, Randle. Uh, stay updated with me on my Patreon link down below. Make sure to follow my or make sure to check out my prize picks after this. We've been on a great streak there. Hit that like button. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.